Hello and welcome. I have been away for a while here, um, but I got a new toy, so I wanted to share it with everyone. Um, this is a new toy out of China, and they call it a, um, whatever it is, a drill. A drill. You put that on there and spin it and it pumps. Um, there's a couple different ones I've seen. This one is a little rarer, but it's a um, self-priming pump, which it is actually self-priming because it's a positive displacement pump, which means that you don't need to get it full of fluid before it'll start pumping like a centrifugal pump. So I grabbed a couple of these from uh, my Chinese distributor and I wanted to tear it down, have a look at it, go over it, and just kind of play around with it. So you can see I've already taken all the screws out because, <laughs> uh, yeah, because I wanted to play around with it and see. Um, there are, it's kind of interesting, they actually use some machine screws through here with um, nuts embedded in the housing. Um, it's interesting. Uh, you would think they would just use some really long, um, whatever these are, like wood screws, and just, you know, embed them in there. Actually, those would probably work, and you wouldn't need this whole part right here. Um, but, you know, they do what they do for whatever reason. Maybe they just had a bunch of those around. Anyways, so, first part is the driver right here. So this is where it interfaces with the screwdriver. The screwdriver? The electric drill. How about that? Electric drill. Um, there's a cover on here which covers a seal which is supposedly supposed to keep the liquid out. I have doubts that it'll do that. It's pretty thick because you actually can't turn this by hand. It is really hard to turn. Like really hard. Like I can't even turn it by hand. It just is completely bound up. Um, and I tried it with a drill and even with a drill it's really hard. So. I have doubts that this pumps a lot, um, but we'll keep tearing it down. We'll see. Maybe we can fix it. I don't know. So we have the port plate in my left hand right here. Uh, what we have is we have our two gears right here. This is what makes it a positive displacement pump. These actually will rotate this way, and it pulls the fluid through the cavities. And then when the gear is made up right here, it, all the fluid builds up right here and then squirts out the discharge side. You can see there's a little bit of wear on the wear plate over here. Um, that's probably from me playing around with it. And you can see the contact is not very good. I would expect contact from basically the center all the way out here. Um, again, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on with this pump here. I'm gonna take the gears out show you some of the stuff that I was looking at. This in here, if you see, oh, you can see it pretty good. This is a rubber gasket basically right here. And it's half an inch long, half an inch long. And so that's what keeps the fluid from coming out. But it basically depends on binding with the shaft right here. And so it makes it really hard to turn this. And I don't even know if it'll keep the fluid out. If you have something like water or something, it might, it's probably just gonna leak through. Um, the other fun part is, is that you don't even need this because this is just pressed in there and it's not gonna come out unless you like cut it and pull it out. So this whole mechanism in here to like hold this basically, this, this, um, uh, bearing kind of thing in there but then like you have this which is supposed to I guess hold it but there's actually a space between here you probably can't see it but so this this does basically nothing which is I don't I don't even know why that's on there um, but yeah so back to gears here so you have your gears in there again I can't even, I still can't even rotate it by hand. It just does not rotate. So, but the other, some of the other fun things going on here, 
if you look at the gears, hopefully that'll show up, you can see that they're actually, um, because they were cast injection molded probably, it's actually like concave which means that this is probably not going to pump very well because the ability of this pump to pump depends on this being flat and sealing in here because it has to come around and it has to basically this has to be flat against that and then as it comes around it's got to move the fluid and so if it's not flat if it's not touching all the way across then it's gonna have a hard time pushing that fluid and keeping that fluid trapped as it rotates around. Man, that is binding. There we go. So, so if you get any kind of pressure on the discharge side, wherever that fluid's going out, if there's any kind of backing up, it's just gonna push it back through and then back in the inlet. So it's basically just gonna spin and do nothing. So that's gonna be interesting. See if we can fix that. I don't know if I can find any of these gears anywhere. Um, they have nice little ground steel rod, cheap, cheap little ground steel rod. I don't know why they didn't press fit it in here. Um, it's loose. You can hear it. Well, here, do some ASMR. <laughs> um, you can tell looking in here, there's a bubble and you can kind of hit it with the rod. The rod binds up on it. Um, there's this big hole in here. And so, I, yeah, I'm gonna have to see if I can find some more of these gears and see if they'll, if I can replace them. That's the problem when you get really tall gears like this, you start running into a lot of problems. The teeth start weeble wobbling, all kinds of stuff. So I don't know, but you can see with this ground rod, hopefully, I don't know if it'll show through or not. Um, but there's a, you can see the, how concave the gear form is. I can see it. I don't know if it'll come up on camera or not, but whatever. We'll see. So I'm going to see if I can build a better mousetrap with this. I'm going to, I like the housing. The housing's pretty good. I'm going to see if I can replace this, place this gasket here, find some better way to seal it. Um, just maybe some stupid cheap um something other than rubber uh, maybe teflon or something and i think get a um another ground shaft probably a little bit bigger because you can see it wobbles a lot in there um and i might if i have to keep these gears probably press fitted in there so get a slightly bigger ground rod press fitted in there so it sits in there um, ideally this is what it's supposed to look like and then it spins fluid goes around you can see here as these mate it's going to push the fluid out of the void between the gear teeth and then theoretically it builds up right here and then it would get pushed out the discharge side um, but you know hey it's a fun little pump it's going to be a fun little project I'll see, I think I'm going to do some testing on it as is, see if it actually does pump. Um, theoretically, with a drill and gears this size, it should pump a, a lot of fluid. Um, but we'll see if it actually does that. So, yeah. It'll be a fun little project. Stay tuned. See what happens.